Hey, thanks for joining us for Around the Pit. I'm Joe. I'm Gracie. She ain't saying it loud enough. That's Gracie. So today we're going to make, you remember what we're making? A cheeseburger, Dutch oven cheeseburger. Right now we got the hamburger going pretty good. As soon as we get that hamburger up, we're going to drain it. And then we're going to start putting all the goodness of a cheeseburger inside there and top it off with some kind of crust and cheese and make it really good. You, you excited for this? Yes. Yes, cheeseburger, Dutch oven cheeseburger pie coming up. All right, so let's take a look. Are we going to touch anything while we're up here, honey? No. No, because it's super hot. We're doing char uh, we're doing coals. So right now we got a bunch of, here, stare it up, honey. we got a bunch of coals underneath our stuff here. Yeah. Here in a second, we're going to be able to drain that and start adding the good stuff, like the pickle juice and the ketchup. You like cheeseburgers? Yes, I you like You like everything on your cheeseburgers? Like ketchup and mustard? Um, yes. Yeah? But everything but tomatoes and onions. Okay, well, we're going to have a little bit of an onion taste, but you won't be able to tell it because you've had this before and you liked it. All right? So we're not going to put real onions in it. We're going to put onion powder. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, no real onions, but onion powder is fine. I love the smell of onion powder. Yeah, do you? Mm -hmm. All right, hold this, honey. So we're getting close to being done here on this. We're going to give it about what? How many more minutes do you think? Take a guess. How many minutes? Ten. Ooh, ten minutes. We're going to go about like three or four more minutes. And then we're going to drain it. And then we're going to start adding the goodness to this. Okay. We got the hamburger dr cooked and drained, right? Yes. Alright, so now we're going to start adding it all together. Okay? We're going to squirt a little bit. Squirt a little bit of oil in there. Okay? Here, honey. Take that and do this a little bit. Get some of that oil there. Just so we have, so it doesn't burn up our hamburger. A little bit more, okay? You good? All right, that's good. Honey. Now we're gonna put our hamburger back in, minus the grease. Okay, stir that up just a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Now we're gonna add in six tablespoons. Of flour. Okay, stir that up. So just do it like this, honey. There you go. Six tablespoons of flour. So we want to cook this flour down. Oh, remember how I showed you, honey? Just keep that part down. There you go. Try that. Okay, so we want to cook that flour down so it don't get too floury taste. Okay? It's looking good. It's going to thicken up our juices. Okay? Okay. So, seasoning. What do we have in the seasoning? I want you to dump it around there a little bit. So, pour it in there. So we got, all yep, all around. Three teaspoons of onion powder, one half teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of lolly salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Yeah, there we go. Looks good, good job, buddy. Okay, so now, let's get our liquid in. So this liquid here, it's got six tablespoons of pickle juice, okay, six tablespoons of milk, six tablespoons of ketchup, and three tablespoons of mustard, um, and four teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, okay. So give that a little stir. Make sure we get all this goodness out of here. Okay. Oh, it smells so much like mustard. There's not much in there, honey. So here, let me do this. So yeah, see how it's thickening it up a little bit? All right. Add in one cup of chopped pickles. Oh. Yep. Harder than the harder than the other ones. What's harder than the other ones? I mean than the um, onion and stuff. Mm. Look at that. Nope, there's a little bit. Does that look like smell like cheeseburgers yet? 
smells exactly like cheaper. Exactly like cheaper. Okay. So we're gonna rough guess about a cup of cheese in here too. We like cheese in ours, don't we, Grayson? We could have, we could have made some bacon and put bacon in there, but we didn't. My favorite ham, ham burger, I mean cheese burger, is um. Stir that with, up some, honey. We keep talking. You with could? bacon. Yeah, so you're a bacon cheese burger. While she's stirring that up pretty good, I'm going to get our topping here. Three cups of Bisquick, and three eggs, and a cup and a half of milk. Get this all mixed up real good. Okay, how's that look? Good. So we took most of the coals from the bottom of the Dutch oven because we got it cooked. And really, you don't have to cook your hamburger i say, you know, 90% done. Okay, I like to cook it all the way up. So now, all we got to do is the oven effect and get our Bisquick. We don't need that. Get our Bisquick on top. Okay. So, this is what it looks like pre. Man, I wish you can smell it all that cheeseburger in there that's pre topping okay and now when we put this in there we're going to steer this up the topping huh no we don't stir the topping up we just scoop it in okay This is going to give us our crust. You like it when I do it in the oven and I make it with the uh, biscuit, the biscuit dough. I make it in the oven in, in a crescent roll stuff over a, in a pie pan. We're going to take that here and put it on this. Okay, so like I said, honey, hold this. Just hold that real quick. You got it? And we're just going to pour this on the top evenly as best we can look at that have you ever done this before have you ever made this before no i don't think so if you don't know then how you know you made it right i've never made this before That's what it looks like on the top. Okay. Now what are we doing, Gracie? We're putting cheese on the top. Give it a little bit of cheese coating on top. Oop, my towel fell off. Okay. Now the most important part is getting heat on it. We're going to put a lot of coals on here, so we're trying to, you know, get it to 350 degrees. We put a nice little ring here. Are these coals hot? Yes, they are. Okay, we're gonna give this probably 30 to 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes, because we're trying to get it to bake the top of that coating or that biscuit mix we put in there. Okay, we'll see how it goes. All right, where are we at? About 45 minutes in. So let's give it a check. Everybody's getting hungry. Are we gonna touch this? No. No. So, windy day, I use a dog bowl, dog pan, whatever. Keep my coals. These are the same coals we've had on here. So I like to keep them. Ooh, that looks good, huh? 
So here, I want you to take a knife, take a knife, and I want you to insert in the center. Let's bring this up here. Insert in the center here. Right here? Yep, push it down. Ooh, you hear a crunch though, right? Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Ooh. Okay, a little doughy here. Okay, it's still a little doughy. So let's get that heat back on. Oh, yeah. We are super close. Oh, yeah. Okay. Super close. We got a lot of charcoal on top. Not so much on the bottom. But that's okay. Let's put a little bit more on the bottom here. Get that heat going again. Down here. You getting hungry, honey? Oh, yes. You bet I am. So we're redistributing our charcoal some. So we get this oven type. Oven going. There we go. Alright. So we'll check it in 10 minutes and see how that does. That's not too hot. Okay. 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna give this a check. Hopefully we don't burn the cat down there, you see Finn? How's it looking, honey? See, we got our knife marks before. Here, cut into it. Why do I cut it? Just go straight down and see what it looks like. I'm gonna go right here. Yep. So, what are we looking for? Making sure it's all the way done. Right. See a little doughy right there, though. We still got a little bit of time on the edges. Look at that. See that doughiness there? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a little done. Yeah, it's doughy. So we still gotta let it cook. We're gonna give this a check. Okay. We're a little over an hour. A lot more steam coming up. Definitely can smell it, can't you? It smells a lot like cheese. Well, it's got a lot of cheese on it. Okay, let's see if we can get one up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold the plate. First one's always tough to get out. They didn't hear you on the camera. She's over here going, whoa, 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 whoa. Pickles. You like the pickles? Yeah. Okay, so before you go in, or before you take food in, you always have to taste it. Taste test. Taste test. Okay, blowing it and then try it. How's that? Oh my gosh. Oh man. Is that good? Is it good? Mm hmm. Mm. You want another bite? Mm hmm. You want to eat it in there? Um, I, oh, on the trampoline? Okay. Yeah, with that All right, so get over there. here. We're off camera. Okay. All right. So, hey, thanks for joining us on Around the Pit. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye.